there is a secret residency program in the South Pacific. It is not a country frequently discussed by my fellow YouTubers. The country of Fiji, home to some of the most incredible and hospitable people in the entire world, also offers a very interesting residency program. Fiji is an archipelago consisting of over 300 islands. However, the majority of Fiji's population lives on just two islands. With a population of over 1 million, Fiji is one of the larger archipelagos in the region. If you're familiar familiar with the Pacific Ocean, you've probably heard the terms Micronesia, Polynesia, and Melanesia. Well, Fiji is part of Melanesia. Alright, let's put geography aside and focus on Fiji's visas and residency programs. The first question is, do you need a visa to get into Fiji or not? If you are from Western Europe, North America, United States, Canada, Mexico, and most Latin countries, you will not need a visa to get into Fiji. Now we're talking about tourism. Likewise, citizens of Russia, China, India, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia can visit Fiji visa-free. And of course, our friends down under in Australia and New Zealand also do not need a visa to visit Fiji for tourism. So if you happen to be from one of the countries that I did not mention before, there is a high probability that you will need a visa to get into Fiji, even if it's for tourism. Before we're gonna talk about the residency options, I wanna talk briefly about the visas that you can apply for in the event that you wanna stay in Fiji for the short to midterm. So we're talking about less than 12 months. If you need a visa to get into Fiji, you have two options. You can get a regular tourist visa, which is valid for up to three months, but it can be used for a single journey only. So you can't really leave Fiji, fly back into the region and use that visa again. You can't really do that. So the single entry visa is valid for up to three months and can be used for a single entry only, meaning you can't leave Fiji and come back into the region. Even if you haven't spent more than three months there, you would have to apply for a new visa. Then there is the multi-entry visa, which is valid for up to 12 months, but really only gives you up to four months per stay. If you need a visa and you are ready to file your application, here's what you need. You must visit Fiji for tourism purposes or something like visiting family and friends. All of the reasons that I just mentioned will get you a visa for Fiji, including a multi-entry visa, assuming that you meet all other requirements. So yes, all requirements must be met before a visa will be issued. You need your visitor visa application form, passport, couple photos, a confirmation of a hotel that you booked, a local sponsor, if you happen to be visiting friends or family, a copy of your travel itinerary, and of course, what you also need is proof of funds. Nothing happens without money. In reality, there may be more documents you must complete before you can visit Fiji and before the consulate or embassy will issue you a visa for Fiji. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post a link below the video and you can see what other documents you may need to visit Fiji. One of the most obvious ways for you to migrate to Fiji, I mean to get like a long-term visa, like a residence permit, is by having work in Fiji. It's like that in many countries. Anyway, I wanted to break this down for you. Let's say you are employed by an American company that happens to be doing business in Fiji. That company of yours may be able to issue you a work permit. Another option would be for you to apply for a job at a local business in Fiji where that company in Fiji will help you to obtain a work permit. If you happen to be applying for a work permit in Fiji, you may include dependents as well. We're talking about your spouse, children, and so forth. If you happen to be sponsored by a company located in Fiji, then the company has to provide the following documents. A detailed description of the position offered to you, a detailed justification for the need of an overseas employee. Your employer, sponsor, also needs to provide a justification for hiring an overseas employee because governments, they always ask the question, why aren't you hiring someone locally? Now, what do you need to apply for a work permit in Fiji? You need your passport, you need a filled out application form, you need your criminal record certificate, your CV, curriculum vitae, travel documents, and a few more. Something that I didn't mention before is that the company, whatever company sponsors you, they also need a proof business registration. So when the company was incorporated, and like I said, they also need to prove the reason, you know, they need to provide a reason for sponsoring a person from abroad. There are a couple of employment documents that you need. 
the contract of employment and any contractual agreements that the business has with the local authorities in Fiji. I know this whole work visa thing sounds pretty complicated and no doubt there are a lot of papers that need to be completed before this visa will be issued. And something you should know is that there's actually more options for you to get into Fiji other than applying for a work visa. So in the event that you don't want to be working for a local company and you have other ideas, then maybe one of the two options I'm going to tell you in the next minute or two will make sense to you. The other two options are the education visa and a visa for religious reasons. As you can probably guess, to get an education visa for Fiji, you must be wanting to study at a local school or university. And the process is very similar to obtaining an education visa in many countries worldwide. You need a bunch of documents. If you happen to be an entrepreneur who wants to build a new life in Fiji or build another life in Fiji, then you may qualify for an investment visa. Yes, Fiji offers a seven-year investor visa. To get the seven-year investor visa for Fiji, you must invest 250,000 Fijian dollars into a local business. I know that 250,000 Fijian dollars might sound like a lot to a lot of you guys. However, it isn't actually that much to an investor. 250,000 Fijian dollars comes down to about 110,000 US dollars. And you must put that capital at risk to get the seven-year investor visa for Fiji. And let your imagination play wild. You can invest in the local economy, including in many different sectors, such as tourism, entertainment, and many others. What about dual citizenship in Fiji? Well, the good news is that Fiji does permit dual citizenship. Limitations and special rules apply. Not everyone may be granted dual citizenship in Fiji. What about personal income taxes in Fiji? Well, Fiji isn't exactly a tax paradise. Fiji goes by progressive personal income tax rates. At the time of shooting this video, the highest personal income tax rate is 39%. There's a good chance that you will not be moving to Fiji for tax reasons. I totally get it. However, Fiji is a beautiful archipelago consisting of over 300 islands, offering an abundance of beauty that is attractive to so many of us. If you're interested in the lifestyle of the South Pacific, and you want to embark on a new journey while living in a tropical paradise, then Fiji is a place worth looking into. Here at Nomad Elite, we help our American and Canadian clients move to many exotic places across the globe, including islands located in the South Pacific. If you're interested in obtaining a residence permit in Fiji and working with Nomad Elite, then please feel free to get in touch with us now. As always, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching Nomad Elite, and we see you on the next video.